going to need to be excited right now because this is such an important partnership. If they can break, they can claw their way back. All on the Toyota. 144. <laughs> oh, there's a pull shot again. Well played. He was into position. He's got it away beautifully. It's running away down to the fence. Two fieldsmen down there. Won't get it. It's four. Yes, I think Gilchrist is going to go for everything. Pulled that one away for four. Five for 350. Some of the fielding has been horrible. Asim Mahmood uh, is not a bad catcher, but he's awful on the ground. It's a gift from heaven, that one. Mushtaq is most annoyed with himself. Well, they're the sort of balls you dream of in Test cricket. The big loopy leg spinner that doesn't look like landing. On your left hand, that one's outside leg stump. There's only three men on the leg side. That's just uh, fruit for the sideboard. Thank you very much, says Adam Gilchrist. I'll have four for that one. As Ian Chappell said, Mushtaq Ahmed, very disappointed with himself. It may have been an attempted wrong at all wrong though. Yes. He's found that gap beautifully on this occasion. Didn't come a long way out of his crease, but he moved very quickly to get to the pitch of the ball and take it on the half volley so that it didn't really matter which way it was spinning. A much better shot this time from Adam Gilchrist. So much a bad delivery. As I said, there's only three mil on that leg side. And, uh, you have three men out there. You can't afford to bowl leg spinners on leg, on middle stump. And Gilchrist gets down the wicket nicely, takes the extra half a stride, works the ball nicely. It's brought about a change in the field now. Man going back from a bat pad position into there, into a mid wicket, and a man going out here on the fence. Maybe just for the for the hoik out here. There he is out there, deep mid wicket. Smash that. Two men out there, not a great gap between them, but uh, Gilchrist has found it and found it easily. Crowd is certainly loving this. Three, ball, three balls is over, three boundaries. Really club this one. Once against the leg spinner. Very firmly struck sweep shot. Talk about the man going out there deep mid wicket but that's gone square the wicket and that's gone there very very quickly Mustak Ahmed once again changing things around this time he's going round the wicket to Adam Gilchrist try and change the angle and try and angle the ball in and use his wrong and to take it away from the left hand Well, this is where Australia have got away from uh, quite a few sides at the Gabba in this period. It used to be Ian Healy and uh, somebody else, Steve Waugh, on a couple of occasions. Uh, and Australia have taken the game right away from the opposition after the opposition were in it with five wickets down. And that's four from five. I said the crowd certainly are loving this. Five balls, four boundaries this over. And really, that's once again a very, very ordinary delivery. It's short, it's wide. Adam Gilchrist says thanks very much. He's got time to pick his spot and picks it very well. Man in Zamamal Hark in the deep there. Trying to cut off the boundary from the square cut. He's not going to cut that off. He's found the gap again, so it's five from six. Terrific over for uh, Adam Gilchrist, Australia, 5 for 4.29. Which probably is an indication that uh, Australia run between wickets better than Pakistan. I don't know why they keep persisting in trying to bounce out uh, Adam Gilchrist. It's become a very expensive exercise. That's his 50. Not a bad test debut.
has got the crowd very appreciative of good cricket. You know, very appreciative of Adam Gilchrist batting. And if you're going to play your first test match innings, someone said to you, you're going to score your first 50 off only 46 balls. You, you take that run every time. He's played superbly. Hit the ball sweetly right from the word go. Attacked all the bowlers. Man in the deep. Well, that's reminiscent of the uh, debut of another left-hander many years ago, 1977, in the centenary test. David Hooks uh, scoring a 50. That was in the second innings. Oh, he's going after him, that's for sure. That's gone a long way. Will it get there? No, it won't. Bouncing away down towards the deep mid-wicket boundary. Got right underneath it. And uh, another four. Mark Ward deciding. I'm going to go over the top here. He looked as if he was trying to hit it over the... Uh, the Lions Football Club in the initial stages there and then ended up just chipping it. There it is. Superb innings. All on their feet here at the Gabba, and why wouldn't they be? It's a tremendous hundred from Mark War. Didn't have a great tour of Sri Lanka. He had a very good 90 in Zimbabwe. He's come out here at the Gabba and played beautifully for that hundred. He's gone, is he? Yes, he's gone this time. That's a good break to an adjust reward for the leg spinner. He was missed just before the tee break. This time, Wazanakram takes the catch. That's a great inning, but comes to a, an abrupt end. A piece of bowling from Mustak Ahmed, tossed it up. Ball drifted into Mark Wall and then spun it. Oh, it went like a rocket. It was short. He plays those shots superbly. One of the best strikers in the world, Adam Gilchrist. Big back left, tremendous timing. And it raced away. Oh, what a good shot. What a good shot that was. Six for 481. Warren gets four. It really turned on to the Australians. It's been a batting spree here. A good batting pitch. The crowd are loving it. Well, both sides, particularly the Australians today, have been... Got him. That's the length he was looking for. It has been a problem for Gilchrist this time. It's full. He's clean bowled on debut for 81. Excellent piece of bowling. And Gilchrist in the past has had trouble with that one coming back in. That was just done by sheer pace. Crowd, crowd here on their feet to Adam Gilchrist. 81 runs. Only 88 balls on debut. It was an outstanding contribution. He's won the hearts of the, uh, the Gabba crowd already. As he departs, Australia 7 for 485.